All right, so if I go to continue, I go to, I think it's this Brian office. I don't have the dagger on me, so that's good. If I don't have the dagger on me, that's pretty, pretty good. This was after I got promoted to employee of the month. So, oh, right, when that happens, I have to talk with Sosa. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we did this, we did this, we did this, we did this. That's when she realized I'm the, the witch hunter. Uh, I need to go back and try to check if I pick up everything. Oh, oh shit, there is an enemy. How do I deal with that guy? There is a tape. Uh, let's get the damage, fuck it. Okay. BHA tapes with no title. Ah, run! So tired. Oh, here was the owl one. You got an illustration. I think I'm only missing one now. Now I think... I think I should be able to do the... The corrupted part. Here. So if I use Corvo ID... Now I should be able to see something new. What's going on here? No idea what that means. But I need to find the corrupted version of Sintra. Oh wait, what? Is this? I, I was supposed to do this? But I'm glitching. What am I supposed to do with this? Is this supposed to happen? Man, it's hard to tell what I... Oh, wait, what, what? There was something there. there. Do you look like the devil, Brian? Could you let me through? I want to get out of here. Oh, I think I did this already. Why should I choose you? Well, because... <laughs> what the hell? Wait, 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 bail, bail, bail. Hey, that's a code, okay, before, when I had the dagger on me, it says some weird shit about the dagger. So I'm guessing this, that's what locked me in the, the other road. So I have to follow this, bell, 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 eight, eight, once, I think that's supposed, I, I'm supposed to mark that on the elevator. Bell, 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 eight, Eight, one, six. There we go. The ceiling is much lower than normal. What floor am I on? Hunter And which one? Oh shit Pencils Corvo's office and this? There is a device next to it, looks like a card reader. okay I will go to the left first This looks like my objective, so let me check the left Oh, that was... Oh, I got all the illustrations! Nice! I wonder if there was any difference on the other ending, if I would have gotten all the illustrations before. Oh, 100 credits, thank you. Right, I have to use the, the Corvo card here. There is a gold key hanging on the wall. You got the gold key? Is this the grave? Family cemetery. Yes. There is a letter. It says, Great news you told me, dear friend. Now that we know where she's hiding, 
And we have the dagger in our possession. It's only a matter of time before we can break the seal on the secret entrance. Signed AM. There's a letter. I know you're usually guided by intuition, but at this critical time, I will trust no one but yourself. Remember that I told you about her familiar spirit, Saint Ian. Alright, we're here. We're here. <laughs> I've seen that all before, yeah, on the library, I think. This tomb must belong to the Sintra family, although I don't recognize the name. So something about the girl's grave, I'm I guess I have to do. This tomb must belong to the Sintra family. Hans Frey, Count of Lucanor! <laughs> nice reference there. I have to play that game. The door is locked, but there is something under there. May I have to take that? Has a red mark. Crew driver! Doesn't seem particularly useful. What could I need there? May I just have to keep looking around. Oh. What? I think I, I saw the all drink from this water. Do I have to drink too? May I have to catch the owl? Because the owl has... Yeah, the, the right eye of the owl is red. So I need the red thing from here. And it's running every time I get close to it. Can I... So if I can I use the the maybe if I do little some of the spills yes yes now go drink the water <laughs> imagine if that's like a bad outcome okay now take it easy drink that wait. And now we take his eye, right? He's sleeping like a log. Now that I see it up close, one of his eyes look like glass. Should I take it out? Yes. I'm sorry, Mr. Old. Yeah, I'm sorry. Use. Alright. Ooh. Xiu Ying, 1924. Yuao Sintra. And this should be to the love of Ray Sintra. Well, there doesn't seem to be any leads around here. Alright then. Although, I could try to move the tomb lead. Oh my goodness, what am I thinking? Desecrating graves on my first day at work. No. But yes, but I will check this first. Oh? Is that it? Really? Uh, there should be something hiding. Give me. Has to be the child one. I'll open it just a little bit so I can have a look around and close it. Nobody? Something's shining down here. Bells! That be will that belong to the child? Sorry? Come closer. Oh, 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 forgive me, we're just leaving. I made a mistake. I said, come closer. Who are you? I mean, Pasternak. Pasternak. Are you the witch? The witch? Are you blind as well as unable to speak? Do you not see that my presence floods everything around you with glorious light? That wretched creature you call witch will crawl out of a dark hole full of filth. Don't you think? Answer me, Pasternak. Why did you defile this poor girl's grave? No, no, it was... Uh, in case, well, in case there was any leads. Leads? To what? About the witch? Well, yeah, yeah. 
Why are you interested in her? Who sent you? Well, I'm not supposed to say... That I suppose I can make an exception. I've been hired to kill the witch. I come this far following the lead in this photo. I wanted to find out some information about Ray Sintra and the other girl next to her. Is the company still hiring hunters? Well, sort of. If so, I owe you an apology. My name is Atia Moeta. I worked for this company many years ago and I tried to end the witch. Just as you are now. Unfortunately, my colleagues and I were unable to successfully complete our task. However, we are very close to doing so. We were. Couldn't you give me some information? I'm a little lost. I met the matriarch of the family before she died, Xiu Ying. She told me the story of how it all started. Oh, flashback. Many years ago, the Sintra family lived in this building. They were a normal married couple, but they had one true regret. They couldn't have children. Therefore, they decided to spend all their savings and take a trip aboard. Hoping to adopt a baby on the black market. <laughs> That's how they found a beautiful girl locked up. Oh, her name was Domori. The owner told them that she will bring them luck and fortune, but in return, they had to follow two rules. Keep her safe within a magic seal. And make her happy. The family soon realized that Domori wasn't a normal girl. They followed the two rules and took care of her as their own daughter. And the divine nature of the girl filled the family with luck and prosperity. Within a few months, they had transformed their home into the headquarters of Sintracorp, and the company started to grow and grow. But their luck did not stop there. Oh, several years later, a beautiful girl was born. Ray Sintra. The two sisters soon became inseparable. Those were the golden years of the company. Growing and growing to become the biggest in the world. Until one day, everything went wrong. Ray Sintra mysteriously disappeared. Domori became unstable, hysterical. The company went into crisis. After a month of free fall, the girl was still missing. So the family decided to end it. They burned Domori. The business crisis ended suddenly. But Ray Sintra never appeared. To silence the rumors, the family held a funeral without a body. That was the beginning of the witch course. Then the witch is that girl, Domori. Didn't you find out where she was hiding? A member of my team found her lair, but for security reasons he kept the information from us. In the end, he also disappeared, like everyone else. But after all these years, I've realized something. It was a mistake to focus our efforts on finding the witch. What really matters is the daughter of the family, Ray Sintra. They never found her body, so she's still missing. She's the only one who knows what happened at that key moment when everything went wrong. If you want to kill the witch, find Ray Sintra. Wait a minute, but where? I have no idea where that girl might be, but I do know someone very much like her. I have to get back to my office and talk to Sintra as soon as possible. I have a feeling that I'm very close to solving this puzzle. Ooh, are we? Oh shit, not you again. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's safe now. Buster, <laughs> what a coincidence. Are we just going to be to the canteen? We need to lend a hand with the birthday preparations. What birthday? Hugo's. Oh, I'm sorry, but I cannot. I have to get to my office. But everyone's in the canteen. Aren't you going to help? I can't. I have to get back to the office as soon as possible. What's your hurry? Even that cute new girl from the hive is there. Kate? I don't know her name, honey. But she's been asking about you. But if you're so busy... Oof, well, okay, I'll be right though. You're so easy. 
but just for a little while. Okay, I guess it's going to be different, a different party. Look who wrote to help, the pars Parsnip himself. Austin, have you been kidnapped as well? Yeah, but I cannot save for, for the birthday. I have to go to the office. Wait, why? Oh, you got some new information about exactly. Maybe tell me. Turns out that the Sintra family had a daughter, Ray Sintra. That name sounds familiar. That girl died, didn't she? That's a good question. I've just been in the family mausoleum and, I, and her grave is empty. I think she's the key to figuring all this out. Desecrating graves during working hours. Brian, you are my hero. <laughs> you can count on me. How can I help you? I need to get back to, my, to the office. Maybe you could distract Rostov? Hmm. I'll think of something. Spy stuff in the meantime. We should pretend like we're still working. What can I do to help? I'm blowing up some balloons. Give me a second and then you can put them up. Are you invited to the party too? Is this supposed to be a party? But why are people working? Where is the booze and drugs? The party hasn't started yet. We're preparing it. You know, before you to celebrate, you have to work to get everything ready. I don't know what you're talking about. I think I'm gonna devote my efforts to flirting with that sexy redhead. She's been staring at me since I got here. Ah, how present. Malone. Malone? I don't know if... You don't know if what? You're absolutely right. Go for it. I don't need your permission. Hi Kate, are you feeling better now? Oh yes, I'm quite recovered, thank you. What are you doing here? Did you get tangled up in it too? I came to see if we were having that coffee, won't you? And they told me about Hugh's birthday. The coffee, right, I'd forgotten all about it. No, I didn't. Well, now we can have it with a little cake. Hee <laughs> hee You know what I'm doing here, I should be in my, in my office. Besides, I don't particularly like Hugh, to be honest. Don't be like that, Brian. Remember that Partnership is very important in a company, especially when it's your office mate. Besides, it's always good to work as a team, don't you think? If you say so... I'm washing some glasses, I'll let you know when I'm done with them, so you can help me set the table, of course. Um... Austin, I'm not blowing up the balloons, can you put them up? Of course, but I can I do some coffee? I don't have... Pizza? Five balloons. There. Oh, I'm good at this. Oh. What? Oh, oops. Oh, no. Are you alright, dear? I completely forgot the letter present in my office. But they are all there on the table. Alright. Oh, but this was a special gift which I bought on my own. Then go get it, quick. Oh. I need help bringing it down because it weighs 400 pounds. Mr. Pasternak, perhaps you could help me since you have so many muscles. Yeah, sure, no problem. <laughs> Wait, I'd better go with you. Pasternak is busy with the balloons. Oh, no, no, now that I remember it, that gift doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I'm done with the glasses. Can somebody send them out? Alright. I'm coming. Oh, this is a pain. Oh, okay. They are all of them. Okay. <laughs> Not one by one. I thought it was going to be one by one. I'm done doing the dishes, Brian. I'm coming. Brian, is that your first name, Pastor Nook? Yeah, first names are always used in the Savarus. Mine is Irina. Irina? Irina? How beautiful. I'm Catherine Hicks, but you can call me Kate. Morto? Morto Sousa? I'm Jenna, and I'm Sagittarius. Uh, and what is this? Rural life? What's your name, Chapman? Anthony, like my father. In the family, they still call me Tony Jr. Well, um... Alright, that's enough talk. He was coming and we haven't finished setting up yet. Poor guy, poor employee. We'll never know his name. What are they doing? Oh! oh. And, and, and the sweet food? With, with candles on top? The cake? That's it. Since you know so much about cakes, Pastor Nat, you'll get one, couldn't you? There's no need for that. Everything is under control now. Okay. You have to make the cheese sandwiches, Pastor Nat. Come over here and I'll show you. Psst. What? What is she doing? Have you thought of anything? I've analyzed the situation and our greatest enemy here is Rostov. I'm going to use my social skill to distract her so you can escape. 
That's a good idea. Where are your social skills? Show me. Dear friend and colleague Rostov, I hear you love eating things. Who told you that this thing calls me a laran? You know what I mean. At the company, your food is famous for being mud wateringly delicious. Will you write me the recipe of over here for the chicken with fish? Oh, of course, it's because I use traditional recipes. Come over here and I'll give you some advice. You're clearly not in the right. It's my chance. Come on, come on, come on. He is going to be here. Oh, I'm sorry. Who is that? Mr. Bat. Hello, everyone. I hope I'm not too late. The cake, you've come at the perfect time, Spader. Put it on the table. Boston, I'm keeping an eye on you. Well, what can I help you with? To make the cheese sandwiches and the punch, but there is almost no time left. Hugo could be here any minute. Then let's get to work. I also want to help. <laughs> nice to meet you, Mr. Spader. My name is Chapman. I'm Tony Checkman's son. I don't know if... Nice to meet you. Well, how do we get organized and get started making the punch and sandwiches? Hey, Kiro, I'm sorry, I don't know your name. Can you give us a hand? Me? Of course he's talking to you. Move your stick, yes, and work a little, you lazy bastard. Chapman, please. There's no need for that language. We're all partners here. You're right. My sister's apologies, Buster Nug. How would I make the punch and you two take care of the sandwiches? What a great idea! Hey, dear fellow, would you mind telling me how to make the sandwiches? You put in greens in and hit the button and where are the ingredients the cheese is in the fridge and the bread is in one of the tables i'm waiting partner oh 10 slices of cheese can i keep them here are the ingredients perfect watch a chef at work ready here they are, don't they just smell delicious? You, you got some burnt cheese sandwiches. They're all burnt. My personal touch. Put them on the table quick! You is about to arrive! Oh, 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 it's almost time! Turn off the lights! Alright, alright, what's going to happen here? Oh, Hugo, I thought he was going to be the frog. Guys, is anyone here? Happy birthday! What? Thank you guys, you're the best! Let's get this party started! The kick is so good, have you tried it? Here was tough, I gotta go now. Do whatever you want. I've already helped and I have stayed long enough, I think I can go now, no? You don't have to explain anything to me, dear, if you want to stand up your office, mate. Doshi? Doshi, Doshi, Doshi! Doshi, Doshi, Doshi! Turn off the lights and get ready to reach Nirvana. What? <laughs> what the hell? Alright, now I can move. When I went to look for her... Oh, for Kate. She wasn't there. She knows how to get out of this better than anyone. But about that other blonde guy from behind Spader? He's gone now. How did he get out of here? He works on the ninth floor. Faster than He can do whatever he wants. I have to find the perfect time to get out of here. Be careful, but see... If you can give me a hand. The presents. When they're looking at those, it may be a good time. Faster are you leaving already? I have to get back to the office, I'm sorry. Still a while longer, but yeah, let's disconnect from work a little bit, until the presents at least. Oh, there is Kate. How are you doing? Oh, really good, your co-workers are very funny. And I think I'm getting my punch on. It's really good, actually, he've already had two glasses. Hey, Brian, I wanted to apologize again for standing, up, you, standing you up earlier. I know this first work experience may not be as great as we thought it would be. And you are right, it would be best to quit and go to another company, but I just cannot stand the thought of giving him up the first handle. It's alright, I understand perfectly. No, Brian, it's not right. 
You've been great to me, and you only just met me. That's not the norm in the big city. Nowadays, it's very difficult to find someone who doesn't only think of themselves. You've also helped me. No, I only brought you trouble. I'm telling you, I'm serious. Without your stealth techniques, I wouldn't have lasted long. And the truth is, what, whenever I give you a hand, I end up solving problems with my own work. Really? By the way, you never told me what your job on the company is. Do you have anything I can help you with? But I don't do much typical office work, you know? And I cannot help you with anything? Well, there is one thing I have to do. Ah, forget it, it's silly. No, oh, tell me, tell me. Remember that madman on the horse? Yeah, sure. He's some kind of motivational consultant. At the last meeting, he ordered me to make a friend. Oh, that's nice. It is very important in the first days of war to be open to other colleagues. Right. So what's the problem? Have you found your new friend yet? I was wondering if maybe you'd like to. What's up to be your friend? Yeah, yeah, well, that'd feel obligated. Ah, oh, that'd be silly. Of course, I'm your friend. Ooh. Uh, uh, thank you. I'm gonna drink a little more of this punch. Don't drink it all at once. Too much alcohol can make you sick. Oh, what do you mean? It's, 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 when does punch have alcohol in it? <laughs> but yeah, if you don't mind, I think I'll go get some fresh air for a bit to clear my head. Uh, I'll go with you. So uh, rooftop and the building, man. Uh, fresh air there. All right. I hear that there is an extraordinary view from there. Hey, Pastor Knight, I want to talk to you. Uh, wait, okay. I'll come back right away. All right. You, I'm sorry, but I, uh, uh, so I see you're liking the punch, Pastor Knight. So... I wanted to talk to you. I want to apologize, I've been a fool. I mean the witch, I tried to hide all this stuff from you so you wouldn't get involved on your first day. But I think it was a mistake not to warn you earlier. Not only that, I also wanted to apologize for the way I acted earlier in the office. I was really pissed when I saw you getting employee of the month, sometimes I get over competitive. But I really do wish you well. What do you wish me all the best for? Of course I do. After all, we're partners. The bullshit you, I know what you've been doing. What do you mean? I don't know how I'm supposed to say that. <gasps> I don't understand you, Pastor Nag. Come on, please. Stop pretending already. Ever since I got here, you've been after for me trying to kill me. In that ridiculous custom. Which, by the way, that noise you make with your mouth, it's more like a duck than the toad. Everybody knows you and not only that, people hate you. They are all here because they are afraid of you. Nothing more than that. Maybe it would be better if you stopped drinking, don't you think? Don't tell me what to do. You have no idea who I am. Do you understand? <sighs> it's time for present, let's move the tables. Tai, but how do you use this? <laughs> they're, they're distracted. Kate, let's go. Sure, let's go. Guys, thank you all so much. Really, you have organized an extraordinary birthday party, and I feel very grateful to you. But deep down, I feel like I'm not the star of this party. He didn't tell us anything because he's very shy and reserved person, but there is someone here who has a very special task, which is no less than... Kill the witch. <gasps> that person, that co-worker, that friend is Brian Pasternak. Don't be shy, man. Get over here. No, no, I don't. You had it pretty well hidden, didn't you? Why don't you give us a demonstration? What do you say, guys? The demonstration of what? Well, how you are gonna kill the witch? Come on, who wants to volunteer? Me? Not you, Malone. Kate, would you like to play the witch? Me? I don't know if I'll know. You don't have to do anything, just sit here. Yeah, but... We won't force anyone here. If you don't want to participate in activities with your co-workers to create a healthy work environment, that's fine. Great! Now only you left, Pastor Nag. I don't want to do this. Are you ashamed of yourself? Come on, it's my birthday. I'm looking forward to it. Or are you outsiders really so superstitious? 
How will you kill the witch pastor now with a stake or with silver bullets? No, 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 no. I need a special knife. Oh, how about the wheels want to make it look more real? But a plastic one, of course. Not a real liar. You had one plastic knife. I have a bad feeling about this. Relax, it's just a joke. All right, Pastor Knight, how do you do that? You stick the knife in her heart? Then we have to cut off her hair. Find? I you found you, Hunter. <gasps> Guys, what's going on? Oh, fucking hero. Oh, one guy has... Oh, the head off. Look at this guy. I do want the cheese sandwich, but I like it. Chapman, are you alright? Oh, my suit. My suit. Look at my suit. F Father, it's me, Tony. The cake is so good. Don't you think so, Irina? Doshi, are you alright? Inei. Inei? My name is Inei Doshi. Oh, my ears are going to explode, bro. What's going on? I think the witch is here. We have to find a way out. How don't you try the elevator? I have appeared before you. I'm Gina. I love me. Oh, wait, what? Um, is this? Oh, sh what? What? Oh, I have to. I have to live. I have to live. I have to live. I have to live. Don't be afraid, Martha. Don't be afraid. He's a hunter. We're safe now. No, Sosa I can't kill the thing. We got to get out of here. Sosa, can you hear me? He will kill. He will kill. He will kill her. Wait, I have to heal. I have to heal. I have to heal. I might die. It. Oh shit! What's wrong with the elevator? Open up, open up now! It doesn't work, it doesn't work! She controls everything! Ha ha ha! What? Can I, can I do something here? Oh, oh, Jesus Christ! What can I do? I have a shaking, but I don't know if I can. It's the only way out! Okay, but you're gonna have to help me. Okay, okay. Of course, with whatever it is. Meet me by the elevator. I am, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, shit, 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 she's there, she's there, she's there. Dude, I'm gonna try to hack the elevator, but I need your help. There is almost no light in here, but I'm going and I'm going to have my hands full. I need you to shine your flashlight right now so I can see. Will a glow stick be better? No way, all the wires are different colors. I need a white light. Take some batteries, thank you. Look at the elevator lights. Uh, when they're all on, it's working. Oh, fuck you. That's going to take ages. Come on, come on. <laughs> oh, shit. Get out of there, Sosa. The guy with the head off is messed up. I can't shut Ah. Shit! Shit! I think now he's safe. Okay. Come on, come on, what are you doing? Damn, dying here after all this progress, that will be a pain. to bring her here that guy keeps walking with the head off <laughs> shit okay i have time i have time i have time 
Drink. Drink. I have enough time for two more, I think. Coming closer, it's coming closer. There. Fuck. To wait for the white signs. Okay, there. We'll get the fuck away from here. Okay, run, run, run. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. There. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There. This is as fast as I can get the doors open, man. I think we can sneak in. Come on, let's go. You go, buddy. If I let go of the panel, the doors will close again. But what about everyone else? We all have to leave. Take this. There's his keys. If I can't make it, burn it all. Destroy it. Destroy what? There's no time in my head. Uh, I got to the third one. Oh, shit. Where is it going? What the fuck? Get up my arm! Get up my arm! Yes! Hold this rope and close your eyes! Damn! Damn. What was that noise? Hello, can I open my ass now? I'm running out of strength. Ah. Take it easy, Ryan. You can do this. All you have to do is... What's that thing climbing up here? Oh my fucking god. So many enemies. I need to get out of here as soon as possible. There. There, screwdriver. So many ways to possibly die. I wonder if I can go. Follow me, Mr. Pasternak. Your revolution is about to begin. What? Hurry up, please. Wait, you're going too fast. I think there was still more stuff to explore there. It's, it's, it's there. I wish it's. Take it easy, Mr. Pasternak. You are safe here. This office doesn't belong to the company. We're actually in another building. Excuse my manners. I haven't introduced myself properly. My name is Marshall. It's a pleasure to meet you personally. My name is Pas. Pas. We know your name is Pasternak. We've been watching you since you arrived this morning. You probably won't remember, but I personally gave you your first witch paper in the elevator after you signed your contract. But who are you people? What is this place? My person and my companions were all part of the USSR. USSR! <laughs> United Sintracorp Syndicate Revolutionaries. Are you an union? That's right, we are. We are the Wars Council, and we are here to defend your rights against the oligarchic oppression of this unfailing mega corporation. Thank you! <laughs> we know perfectly well the hell that you have faced and that many others like you have to deal with on a daily basis, Mr. Pasternak. That is why we want you to share your heavy burden with us, and through these meetings we can gather the necessary strength for the task at hand. What time somebody gave me a hand? After this presentation, if you feel it appropriate, we will proceed with the performance evaluation of your first day at the company. Oh, okay, if you don't mind, I'll stay down here, my stomach is a little upset. Tell me, Master Pasternak, from 1 to 5, how would you describe the accessibility of the company occupational health and safety measures? 1. Uh -huh. From 1 to 5, what do you think of the condition of the appliances in the company canteen? 
Okay, interesting. The next question is key. What level of cleanliness and hygiene have you found in the toilets and bathroom of your office building? What is this all about? How are you going to help me at all? God damn it, I see solely apologize, Mr. Pastana. We're well aware that this form is in urgent need of renewal. But who cares about that form? The host company has a mess and people is dying down here. Is there nothing you can do to end the witch? We hope to be able to be of much more help from tomorrow. <laughs> With the incorporation of the new general manager. General manager? You mean a boss? Indeed, without bosses, we could not oppose or negotiate with anyone. But if all goes according to the plan, Sintracop will have a CEO again by midnight tonight. So, who is he gonna be? Your partner, Mr. Hugo. What? But how is that possible? Who decides these things? It's an automatic system describing the company's status. According to this status, the CEO will be replaced in the event of unjustified absence after 12 months. His successor will become the next employee with the most seniority. The city have is jumping from missing worker to missing worker for over a decade and today it's reached the next in line, which is none other than Mr. Hugo. Oh my goodness, this must be avoided at all costs. Can't you guys do anything? I'm sorry, are you telling me that there is no one with more seniority than Hugo? What about that blonde guy from the 9th floor? Doesn't he have a higher rank in the company? The few that were still alive were at Hugo's birthday party and Mr. Spader is not on the staff, he's subcontracted worker. Please, there has to be someone else. To tell you the truth, there is an exception to the rule, but today it's unfeasible. These statues were created in the early years of the company and the text marks a special inheritance right of the Sintra family. That is, if a member of the above pension family were to appear, they could claim the post immediately. But that's impossible because they are all dead. Ray Sintra? Who? I gotta get out of here. I have to get back to my office. But Mr. Pastanite, the working day is over. I have to go. I have to go back. <laughs> I wanna go back to that ladder. My head hurts so much. I'm in my office, aren't I? I guess it was all a bad dream. It'll work for a while, and. Parsnip? This one another of Hugo's prank? Even left me this plastic knife. Oh! Oh! Ryan! No, no, no! What's the matter, Brian? Intra, help me, please! Why don't you use the dagger? 